immigration reform is a long way from becoming law. And that's because Republicans in the House think it, well, not only does it make money. Louisiana Republican Congressman John Fleming says, at this point, it really doesn't make much sense. The Congressman joins me on the phone. Uh, Congressman, you're still opposed to this thing, right? Yeah, absolutely, uh, Neil. And I just came from a very extended conference uh, with my fellow Republicans. And uh, out of uh, over, you know, well over 210 members, uh, I don't think there was one single person in that room who would vote for this current Senate immigration amnesty bill. Wow. So that would effectively kill it in the House. There's all sorts of, John Boehner is under enormous pressure uh, to try to woo some of those reluctant colleagues of yours. Has he had any luck? If you're right, no. Well, you know, it's interesting. There's a broad consensus. We all want to solve the problem. We want to fix the immigration problem. We see it as broken. Uh, but we also have a broad consensus that it all begins with border security. And the Senate bill uh, is anything but border security. Well, I had Senator Marco Rubio here not too long ago, Congressman. He said that issue has been addressed. And he doesn't know how to make it more forceful that that proviso is in there uh, outside of, you know, saying under threat of military action if you don't. I mean, that, that what do you want to see that presently you don't see in the Senate version of this? Well, first of all, there's no end point. There's no verifiability. There's no certification process. We offer one in our homes, Homeland Security bill that's passed out of committee. Uh, it authorizes a bunch of, uh, of resources, uh, but the president, as he has done in many cases, can redirect those any place that he wants, and it doesn't appropriate money even for those resources. So you're worried that this will be a redux of what Ronald Reagan was hoodwinked on, in other words, a grant amnesty or what seemed to be at the time a 1986 amnesty, but without getting the promised uh, reinforced border. More than that, I think it doubles down on that and it I makes see. the problem from bad to worse. Congressman, thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Neil.